If you're thinking about taking another CompTIA certification in 2026, you've probably got two feelings at the same time. Number one, AI is everywhere and I don't want to get left behind. And number two, I don't want to waste money on potential hype. And honestly, that's a smart place to be right now because CompTIA is launching a brand new certification in February called the SEC AI Plus. And it's basically their answer to one question, which is how do we secure AI systems while AI is actively changing both attacks and defense. But here's the real question I care about as a recruiter. Will employees actually value this certification or is it just another shiny new badge? Well, in this video, I'm going to break down exactly what Sec AI Plus is and who it's for, what skills it claims to validate, where I think it will sit in the job market and stick around because at the end, I'll give you a simple, if this is you, do it. If this is you, don't do it checklist so you don't have to overthink it all right let's get to it now hey everyone welcome back to the channel and if you're new my name is luke goff i'm a cyber security recruiter and career coach and have been for almost 15 years so i'm not here to sell you a fantasy i'm here to help you make a smart career decision i hope you find the content useful if you do remember to subscribe to the channel and join the growing community let's get straight to the video section one what is sec ai plus and why does it exist so sec ai plus is CompTIA's new certification focused purely on AI security. Launch date is February 17, 2026. And the way CompTIA positions it is basically the following. They say you'll learn how to secure AI systems. You'll learn how to use AI in security operations. You'll understand AI governance, risk and compliance, so AI GRC. And you'll be prepared for AI driven threats like managing attacks and malicious uses of generative AI. Now, the reason this exists is simple. For years, cyber hiring has been about fundamental security plus or specific paths such as SOC analysts, cloud security, GRC, pen testing, etc. But AI has come along and created this new middle layer where companies are asking, are we using AI safely as a business? Is our data safe when we feed it to models? Can attackers manipulate our models? And are we exposing sensitive info through prompts and integrations? And they want people who can answer those questions without guessing. Section two, the exam domains and what that tells us. Now here's the bit that really matters. CompTIA's exam objective summary tells us the weighting and the biggest domain is securing AI systems. That's 40% of the exam. Now that is a very loud signal. It suggests this certification isn't just, hey, here's how to use ChatGPT in SOC. It's saying you need to understand how AI systems are built and deployed and how to protect them. And it includes lots of things such as implementing security controls for AI systems and data to securing deployment environments across cloud, hybrid, on-prem, and mitigating adversarial risks targeting models and pipelines. If you're expecting prompt engineering with a cyber vibe, this doesn't look like that, to be honest. This looks like CompTIA trying to create a baseline for AI security plus AI governance plus practical security operations. I think that's their ultimate goal here. Okay, section three, who is SEC AI Plus actually for? So this is where I'm going to be really direct. CompTIA's recommended experience is three to four years in IT, including two plus years hands on in cyber security. And they recommend prior knowledge like Security Plus, the CYSA Plus, Pentest Plus or equivalent. So from a recruiter perspective, that tells me this is not a beginner certification. This is not meant to replace Security Plus. It's meant to be a specialty add on once you can already speak the language of cyber. And that's really important to understand. And if you're brand new and you take this first, you might pass the exam. However, you'll struggle to sell it in interviews because the hiring manager is going to say, cool, but can you do the basics? Can you work tickets? Do you know networking? Can you actually operate in a SOC? These are questions that hiring managers will ask you. So if you can't ask them, it's irrelevant that you've done the SEC AI Plus. So that brings me to say, who is this for? I personally would say it's for three main groups. You've got cyber folks, so one to three years in who want to move into a niche that is clearly growing. Two, you've got GRC risk professionals who want to be credible in AI governance conversations. And three, security engineers slash architects. So people who are being pulled into AI projects internally. I think these are the three people, the three areas that would stand out most for. Quick one, if you're finding this useful, hit like and subscribe because I'm going to keep covering certifications like this the way recruiters and hiring managers actually view them. And I'd love a comment from you. Would you take Sec AI Plus in 2026 or does it feel too early? Just drop Sec AI or skip below and I can gauge where everyone's at. All right, let's talk about the part nobody likes hearing. Section four, will employers care? This is from my perspective as a recruiter. 
And here's the honest reality. In the first six to 12 months of a brand new certification, most hiring managers won't require it because their job descriptions won't catch up that quickly. So if your plan is, I'll get the SEC AI plus and then suddenly I'll be hired into an AI security role, quite honestly, that's not how recruitment works. What will happen though, and this is where the opportunity is, is the right hiring managers will see it as a signal. And the signal is this person is paying attention. This candidate is thinking about where security is going in the future. And this candidate is building skills that align with future risk and that's really key and this is important it only works if the rest of your profile makes sense because if i'm recruiting for a SOC analyst role and someone has set ai plus but no security plus no labs no previous project or hands-on experience i'm still not putting them top of that list where sec ai plus becomes powerful is when it's paired with an existing cyber baseline and a clear story like hey i'm a SOC analyst or a security analyst and i'm specializing in ai security because my organization is rolling out ai systems systems and I want to be the person who secures them. I want to be that go-to person. That narrative is extremely hireable. Section five, who should take SEC AI Plus and who should not? So this is practical time. You should seriously consider SEC AI Plus if you already have Security Plus or equivalent knowledge. You've got some hands-on experience such as work experience, labs, even projects. You're aiming for roles like security analyst or SOC with an AI focus. You're a security engineer supporting AI in initiatives or possibly you're a GRC risk role dealing with AI governance. And if you want a credibility maker that says, I'm not just watching the AI wave, I'm training for it. Because let's face it, everyone, AI is here. It's only going to get more prominent. We've all got to get you ready for it. Now, you should not take Sec AI Plus, in my opinion, if you're brand new to cybersecurity or you don't understand yet core networking plus security concepts, you're still trying to land your first entry level role because your best return of investment, in my opinion, is still network plus security plus hands on labs, portfolio interviews. Now, if you haven't checked out my roadmap video that talks about this in a lot more detail, I'll leave it in the description below. Now, for a lot of people, the best move is get into cyber first and then specialize. OK, moving on to section six, my verdict. This is my position my thinking as a recruiter. Is Sec AI Plus worth it? Here's my honest take. Sec AI Plus is definitely going to be valuable, but only for the right person at the right time. I think it will become a strong bonus signal certification, especially as more and more companies roll out internal co-pilots, AI enabled security tools, AI governance frameworks, and AI risk programs that sit somewhere between legal, cyber, and compliance. But I do not think it's a replacement for the fundamentals. I want to make that clear. So please, if you're listening to this and you follow my channel and you're trying to break into cybersecurity, remember that fundamentals first, but it is an accelerator once you've got them. And if you're sitting there thinking, Luke, is this just CompTIA cashing in on hype? Look, maybe a little bit, but also every certification is a business. The only question that matters is, does it move your career forward? And for some of you in 2026, the answer will be yes. So we've talked about what Sec AI Plus is, what it covers and the recruiter view on whether it's worth it. But unless you know where this fits in your wider certification path, you can still waste time. Remember, if you're a beginner, here's the simple rule. Don't start with Sec AI Plus, start by building the cyber foundation that actually gets you hired and then look at it down the line potentially if you want more recruiter back to fight like this hit subscribe subscribe to my newsletter if you haven't every two weeks i send a newsletter out full with the latest news and cyber trends and recruiter and career advice thank you all for watching as always keep leveling up your career i'll see you in the next video